With the current federal estate tax exemption at 12 million plus per person, the IRS actually just released the new numbers for next year. It's going to be close to 13 million per person. Yeah. Then when you have a married couple, you double that and now you're at 25, 26 million, something like that the administration process if somebody dies. And on the estate planning side, it's really you can break that down into several components, right, Trevor? And what I want to talk about today, I, I think a lot of the material on our website speaks to kind of mainstream estate planning and kind of planning for the masses and what most people need and talks a lot about the pros and cons of a trust over a will and a lot of material there. I want to shift gears today, Trevor, and talk about um, how planning is different with somebody that has a higher net worth. And um, we now have a, a whole separate page on the website that talks about higher net worth. And, and um, I think that we'll eventually post some examples of what we've done for our other clients with higher net worth. But I think one thing, Trevor, maybe right out of the gate, we ought to define, you know, what we would consider higher net worth. I mean, everybody has a different standard. And sometimes I'm a little bit surprised, um, you know, certain people will call and say they have a very high net worth and, and then, you, you know, which probably in, you know, if you compare it to the average person in the United States probably is a higher net worth, but, you know, in, in my mind, and I'll ask you, Trevor, what you think, but in my mind, I, I take a look at an estate that has significant tax problems. Um, higher net worth people have problems with the estate tax and they have problems with capital gains. And, and um, my own personal definition of higher net worth would be, you know, north of 25 million is kind of my definition. And, I think even to sink your teeth into it, you're probably talking about north of 50 million or even north of 100 million, right? Right. What's your thoughts on that higher net worth? Yeah, same thing. I think when we, we talk of higher net worth, then the difference in estate planning is related to the tax issues. Yeah. And, you know, with the current federal estate tax exemption at 12 million plus per person, um, you know, and, and the IRS actually just released the new numbers for next year. It's going to be close to 13 million per person. Yeah. Then when you have a married couple, you double that and now you're at 25, 26 million, something like that. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's those clients that are above that level where we can bring the tax muscle that we have and the experience that we have to help, um, help remove a lot of those tax issues or, or minimize the taxes that would be paid upon upon their passing. Yeah, I think that, you know, I, you and I both know a lot of, quote, you know, estate planning attorneys that, that don't understand tax, right? Um, and if you take the tax element out of it, it certainly simplifies estate planning. 